Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Jeff and Ryan from Achieve hey. Ryan, this is Five Facts. I'm the token jack for today. You're the token jack. This is Battlefield 1943. I know that game. Hey, yeah? Sort of. We just did a Let's Play on it. That's where I know it from. Did you ever play Battlefield 1942? Yeah, I did, actually. I played that one a lot. Well, they are the exact same game. Pretty yes, much. they definitely are. Except for maybe some graphical upgrades. Well, barely. Uh, of course, <laughs> yeah, barely. That's, yeah. 1943 being, of course, the Xbox uh, 360 remake of the PC Classic. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. You want to hear some facts? I'd love to hear some facts. Fact number one. When you start playing Battlefield 1943, the EA logo that appears on screen has the date November 16th, 1943 written on it. On that day, for the first and only time in the war, I assume he means World War II, a Japanese submarine destroyed a U.S. submarine called the USS Corvina. Yes, apparently that was the only time a Japanese submarine des destroyed the USS Corvina. Wow, we they really delved back from the deep dead. into history for this five we facts. Sink it, yeah. Uh, uh, fact number two. Did they even have submarines back then? In wow. World War II? Yeah, dude. I thought it was just like a guy in a dinghy <laughs> with a grenade. That was World War One. Oh. Yeah. Fact number two. That was a dirigible. <laughs> they used them. <laughs> no, they you're right. Around. You're right. I know. I know. It was a, yes. Fact number two. Uh, you can find a sandcastle with a Swedish flag stuck in every map but Coral Sea. The flags are a reference to the game's developer, Dice, who is based in Sweden. I actually did, uh, way, way, way back in the day, I did uh, Easter egg guides for those. But uh, obviously the Swedes hate Coral Sea, so that's why there's no flag there. Yeah, they said fuck Coral Sea. <laughs> yeah. uh, fact you number three. bastards in your enjoyment of the ocean. <laughs> You're losing your mind today, Ryan. <laughs> fact number three. Uh, the air superiority game mode, by the way, that is the uh, least fun game mode in the game. I w everybody was really excited for it, and then it came out and it was like, oh. That's oh, fact three. Fact fuck. four is... Yeah, well, anyway, fact three and a half, uh, that game mode, Air Superiority, was originally locked on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and didn't unlock until uh, the console communities reached 43 million kills. The Xbox community got the game mode in just four days after launch. I believe it took the PlayStation guys, like, another four or five days. Wow. Xbox so kicked the shit out of them. They that time. disappointed the hell out of 40 million people, I was, saying. I was playing my ass off trying to get those, too, because Air Superiority sounded really cool, and then it was unlocked, and it was all like... <laughs> Yeah. Alright, fact number four. A PC version of Battlefield 1943 was in development after the game's console release. However, it was cancelled in February of 2011, so DICE could focus on developing Battlefield 3. Also because everybody still had 1942. It's, yeah, it's a good point too, right? Really not a step up. No. Fact number five. At Sony's 2011 E3 press conference, it was implied that every copy of Battlefield 3 would come with a free copy of Battlefield 1943. However, at some point after the event, EA and DICE decided not to follow through with the idea. This led to a class action lawsuit uh, don't this, it doesn't it, it doesn't everything lead to a class action lawsuit these days? Only the good things. Yeah. Well, the result was that PS3 owners got free 1943 codes as well as early access to Battlefield 3 expansions on the system. I guess the Xbox people were just uh, left out in the cold. Hey, you know what happens when you imply? You what? make a imp out of I, I got nothing. An e imple out of why? Uh, an empanada. You make an empanada. Let's stop.